Alright, Elm, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Melissa. I've been training with Ali for almost seven years now, and I continue to do it no matter how much it hurts because I will never have an injury. Again, so Elm decided to come out. She got herself protected. She continues to do this because can't nobody do this for her. She got to be mentally and physically strong. Can't nobody work out for you. They can wash your hair, they can wash your car, they can cut your grass. Can't nobody do your workout. All right, Elm, let's get it. Good. Just watch the steps on the way down and up, working on the form of walk carry. So the whole part on the form of walk carry. Keep both shoulders even. Don't let the weight tilt you to one side where you're lopsided. Keep your shoulders even when you're doing formal walk carries, no matter what weight you're using, especially when you get to the heavier weight. Keep your shoulders, keep your face relaxed. Keep the core nice and tight. There you go, Elm. Way to keep both arms even. Way to control the weight. Don't let the weight control you. So when you get at the top, we're going to drop one weight down to the ground. So we basically go into a wall seated squat. And you got 25 seconds of extended chest press. Good. Behind every rep, just breathe out. 10 seconds. There you go. Drive it right towards the chest. You're in that seated squat position along the wall. Three, two, one. There you go. Just bringing that dumbbell, just like a kettlebell swing. More importantly, your arms extending out straight, bringing your glutes, your hips, and your core. 10 seconds, Elm. So again, as you can see, she got the steady pace, she got the steady momentum. Three, two, one. Again, these are squatting goals, just using the bench as a guideline, as a mark. It's almost like sitting down in a chair, slowing back up, holding the weight near the chest for stabilization. 10 seconds, Em. There you go. Stay the course. Maintain. Stay the course. Top. So standing oblique core twist. Stabilizing the weight in the middle. But keeping the gaze looking forward. So instead of her turning and twisting, following the weight, she's looking straight. That allows the upper torso to rotate from left to right. 10 seconds, Em. Again, you can do the standing, you can do the seated. Time. So we got single arm, renegade rows, 25 seconds each arm. And again, this can be core work as well. You drive that dumbbell up, drive through your core. When the elbow drives up, drive directly through your core. And there you go, 10 seconds. Switch. So go ahead, focus on keeping both arms even, not twisting, not turning a lot, controlling the weight, driving through the weight, using your core, breathing at the same time. There you go, Em. 10 seconds. Stay with it, stay committed. Time. And stop. So we got Melissa walking up a set of steps. Every time I say stop, she's doing single arm hammer curls randomly. And go. She don't know how many times I'm gonna stop her. That's the unknown. What she can control is just maintaining, putting the work in, forming technique. Stop. 
So it's 40 steps. She's not skipping steps. Two feet on each step. Hang tough, Elm. Hummer. Go. Stop. So again, I always start of standing, doing bicep curls in one place. She's mobile. She's moving up a set of steps against the resistance. And go. So after the dumbbell walk, hammer curls, a sprint, getting that cardiovascular, non-stop movement, not sitting around. I sent her right back down the steps, coming right back up. Steady movement. There you go, Em. 